bring you the coin toss. It's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Clemson has lined up for the kickoff, and we're ready to get this one underway. Smith from the two. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. He might have a chance. They'll bring him down at about the 43-yard line. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. First and 10. Ball on the 43-yard line. Fires out to his receiver. There's a very impressive open field tackle. down and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Harley picks up about three with that catch. That makes it fourth and inches. Try to change the field position with his kick. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. The Tigers have shown over the course of the season that they want to get this guy the football, but you can't just go to him every play. Well, on the road, you especially want to take the crowd out of the game, and the one guy you know who can do it is this wide receiver. The problem you have is this defense, more often than not, is going to be aligned to take him out of the game. And that, to your point, Brad, that's where somebody's going to have to step up, whether it's the running game, some of the other receivers. You're going to have to take some of the pressure off of him and really make it a team effort to be able to win this game on the road. He's tackled right around the 34. You talk about a dual threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 34. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Call it a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Green pass. He's got his half back. He's pushed out of bounds at the 44-yard line. Usually a defense will look to kind of have a feel based on the tendencies and research that they have done throughout the week to be able to see when a screen might be coming. But truly, you have to be able to get your eyes on the quarterback and just sense the timing's a little bit different. Wow, that offensive lineman let me get, get by a little bit too easily. And that should be something needs to tip the, uh, the hand of the offense to let you know that a screen is coming from their own 44-yard line. Second down. He's on the run. He's taken down at the 43-yard line. They move the sticks after another first down. Impressive drive by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. And off up the middle, and he's stuffed. This is the eighth play of this drive. He lets it go. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. As a corner, he's got to learn to read these play fakes better. 
his inability to recover hurt them here on this completion. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Going for it all to the end zone. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. Big hit. He's going to lose yardage. Loss of a yard. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. We've played one quarter. Still no score. Tied up as we head into quarter number two. Going over the middle, intercepted. Spectacular play there by the linebacker to come away with that interception. I don't even think the quarterback saw him on that play. He was right there waiting for the ball. from their own 23-yard line. First down. Tackle around the 24-yard line. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. Here's third and nine. Ball on the 24. And he's leveled the 37 yard line. He throws it. Smith is the intended receiver of the play. That makes it second, second and ten. Ball on the 37-yard line. Watch the pass. That's a great tackle. The 48-yard line. the stop around the 49-yard line. That'll make it seven, seven. Second down and seven. Ball on the 49. He tackles him for a loss. The thing about the option is you're going to have some negative plays, but if you keep running it, it'll create some big play opportunities. We're at play number nine of this current drive. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. So the delayed handoff gets maybe a yard. That makes it fourth and eight. Ross awaiting the return. He was able to deaden that kick perfectly, and it gives them a long field to work with. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. And down he goes, right around the 26-yard line. Very solid gain through the air. 
I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. So it's second down and about two yards to go. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Knocked out of bounds around the 37 yard line. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Swings it out there incomplete. From their own 37 yard line, it's third down. brought down right away. The defense was all over that draw play. And they had very good containment on the halfback. He had nowhere to go with the football. George is back deep to return the punt. George fields it at the 26. And he's tackled at the 48. Well, who says college football is all about offense these days? No doubt about it. This first half has been dreadful for both of these offenses. We've seen some great defense, but I think the offenses need to make some adjustments and play a lot better. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Tackle made around the 44-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they looked sharp before this one even started. Open receiver, no good. A minute left in the half. They bring their quarterback down. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds and those receivers might have been open. They come out on an empty backfield. Here's a quick throw. Catches it. Touchdown, Miami! Great effort by the wide receiver. And not to take anything away from the quarterback, but the wide receiver made this play. Well, that had to be a miscue of some kind or a mental error by the defense. This wide receiver was just too open for there not to be some kind of mistake by the defense. I'm sure the defensive coordinator is going to want to get his defense on the sideline and to make sure everybody's on the same page. And he converts the extra point. It was a fine. The offense is struggling and trying to find their identity. Yeah, we all know that football is definitely a team game, and it's really not fair to put all this team's performance on just one player. I mean, it, this guy is the emotional leader of this team. Dangerous throw. This one's picked off. Brought down around the 35-yard line. Nice pick by the safety. Safety that time just sitting back there looking at the quarterback, and once it was thrown, he knew exactly where it was going, and he made the pick. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 35-yard line. Miami up seven points. Deep pass to the end zone. Touchdown, Kane. Almost impossible pass to defend, and it goes for six. Yep, the defense would have needed 12 guys on the field that time. And he tacks on the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He'll take it from the two. 
He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 25-yard line. No matter how much people want to talk about points and offense, I still think that the best offense is a great defense. When you put a zero up there, it makes it pretty easy on your own offense to go out there and win the game. The quarterback comes back on the field, and I'm sure he's hoping to make up for that interception on the last drive. The game is in danger of getting out of hand early. It's very, very important that they not only hang on to the football this drive, but they also need to get a score on the board as well. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 25. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Collins was the intended receiver on the play. That brings us third and 10. They come out in a five-wide set. And they finally tackle him at the 48-yard line. From the 48-yard line, first down. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. They'll spread the field with five wide. Quick strike to the receiver, and he's taken down at the 37. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want them. So with a half ending, they're just going to try to put three points up on the board. It has the distance, and he missed it left. No good. As they head to the locker rooms, this one is far from over. 14-0, Hurricane. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. There's no question you'd rather be up by two scores as opposed to being down by two scores. I mean, David, I totally... That was an easy answer, look, yes. I, I totally <laughs> get that. But I think there is a mindset there that when you have that two-score lead, you're trying to protect something. You don't want to give it up. And if you allow the other team to get close, then, then things can get tied on you. Can a two-score edge sometimes be a little bit dangerous just in terms of mindset? I think mindset and also with coaches. A lot of times you see coaches, they get less aggressive. You know, especially on the defensive side of the football, when you get up two scores and you had so much success blitzing the first half and applying pressure, now you're not as comfortable leaving out guys on an island playing man-to-man -man and giving up big plays. Yeah. So I think you got to make sure that you continue to do what you were doing. Don't make those big mistakes, but also don't stray away from the game plan. Right now, what, it, what you've implemented has worked. Continue to do it. That's going to do it at halftime. Just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, brother. I'm going to get some of the cafeteria. I'm hungry. Wait, look, wait. Don't leave until you get my order. Brad, Kirk, take the second half. All right, Reese, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He's to the 20. Tackle made to the 27-yard line. Miami's coaching staff will go out tonight, and I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, they've just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. Here he goes. He's to the 40. He's at midfield, and he's finally brought down at the 44. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 44. He passes it. Incomplete. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Quick throw out to the receiver. Touchdown, Clemson! Clemson! 
The wide receiver flew down the field on that touchdown connection. Well, he has the speed to stretch the defense, and his hands are getting better every single game. It makes for an easy completion when you've got a guy who's that wide open. He splits the uprights with the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. Smith takes it at the four. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 23-yard line. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Miami is up seven. He's got his man across the middle, and he's tackled at the 35. From their own 35-yard line, it's first down. He's tackled at about the 37-yard line. Third down, six to go. Ball on their own 39. They'll bring him down at the 41 yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 41. He's taken down around the 30-yard line. They get him in the backfield for a loss. From the 31-yard line, second down. Miami is up a score. Quick pass. Tackle at the 24-yard line. This is the eighth play of the drive. Tries to pitch it, and now the ball is loose. Now the defense has it. The safety. I tell you, when the option works, it can be beautiful to watch. But when it doesn't, it can go horribly wrong. Not a good result for the offense. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. From the 38-yard line, it's second down. Gains his way to the 23-yard line. And he tackles him hard at the 20. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 20-yard line. A 
Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. Receiver and he dropped it. Now the quarterback has to be careful here not to leave his receiver so vulnerable like that. He took a licking right there. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. It's up and he's got it. Clemson lines up for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. The offense comes back out. And as I'm sure you'll remember, their last possession ended in a lost fumble. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. Quick strike, and he drops it. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Miami is up four. Nice gain as he works the right side. Both offenses still trying to find a way to open things up. The end of three quarters. Miami in front, 14-10. Great three quarters of action, tight ball game, and now it's the fourth quarter, and this will decide it. Five wide. Wow, a big stop there early in the fourth quarter, and the way this game has been played and how tight it's been, every defensive stop will be huge. Fields it at the 27, and down he goes at the 41. So we're early in the fourth quarter. Still a lot of football left, but in a game this tight, every possession is going to make a difference. He throws left. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. from the 38-yard line. First down. Dumps it complete over the middle. And they make the stop around the 32-yard line. That'll make it second and four. around the 20. First down. From the 20-yard line. First down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That brings him second and five. This defense is looking to make it three straight trips to the red zone without a single point. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. And they push him out at about the nine-yard line. It's first and goal, and they need a touchdown. Just under three to go in regulation. Throws out and through his hands. Positive yardage. Here's the eighth play of the series. Watch one, watch one. I got one, I got one. 
The short yardage defense here. Chipley will try the left side. Tackle made at the one yard line. Two minutes left in the ball game. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Touchdown, and that's going to give them the lead. Touchdown, big play on the ground. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. And he hits the PAT. A nice nine play, 58-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Taken from the three-yard line. They'll bring him down at the 28. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. They come out on an empty backfield. Fires out to his receiver. Brought down at the 36-yard line. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. A little over a minute in the game. Well, that's just a huge stop right there here late in the fourth quarter in a game this tight. That might be one we look back on later and say that won the ball game. in the deep pass. He might have a chance. Boy, they had to dig deep to score here that late in the fourth quarter and come from behind. And now the question is, can their defense dig in and win it for them? And he converts the extra point. So a four-play, 71-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. The score now, 21-17. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Fielded at the four. He's tackled at the 27. Well, we're getting late in the fourth quarter, Kirk. You've got to make the most of every possession you have. Ross's legend now has got a chance to grow if they can get him the football. I'd be throwing the football his way early and often during this drive. You never know what can happen once the football gets in his hands. Well, the offense heading back out onto the field after that kick, hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. They'll spread the field with five wide. And he's taken down at the 45. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. And that just might do it. Intercepted. He's at the 40, and he's tackled around the 36-yard line. We'll take another look at the play here. And I'll be honest, I couldn't tell if he made the catch or not. Man, from our angle, it was really hard to tell. I think this one could go either way. After, After review, review the play, play the, ruling the ruling on the, on the field, field stands. stands. The ruling on the field stands. It's a catch. It's first and 10. Ball on the 36. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. The offense lining up in a victory formation, and he takes a knee. The Tigers using their third and last timeout. We have less than a minute to go. He takes a knee. He is drilled at the 
two-yard line. It seems as though they didn't want to risk stopping the clock on an incompletion, so they kept it on the ground. Fourth down now. And this is when you have to overpower the defense to keep moving the ball. That time, they didn't succeed. The Tigers, I'm sure, are secure in the knowledge that despite this setback today, they still have one of the best players in the country. Well, this is a devastating loss, but it's one that they're going to have to put behind them. And as you said, they still have one of the best players in the country. They don't need to deviate their plan, get back to really what they know, and that's getting the ball to their star player. And next week, I'm sure they'll be fine. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.